MP2 Raptor 6.2 liter before the supercharger swap. Before we put the VMP supercharger on, we are going to swap on a cold air intake to see what kind of difference it makes on the dyno. We're now making a run with the VMP tune and a Roush cold air to see what it puts out. hear the 6.2 take off with the cold air intake. We're just finishing up our naturally aspirated tuning on this 2013 6.2 liter Raptor. What we found is that the truck baselined with 331 horsepower and 358 foot-pounds of torque. After tuning, it made 343 horsepower at the wheels and 364 foot-pounds of torque. The gains from tuning were mostly torque below 3,500 RPMs up to 25 foot-pounds and horsepower above 4,500 RPMs. Finally, we installed a Roush cold air intake and picked up another eight horsepower. This brought us up to a total of 351 horsepower at the wheels and 363 torque at the wheels without ever touching the exhaust. Now we're gonna bolt on a VMP supercharger and see what we get. All right, we're back on the dyno with VMP's 2013 Raptor. We've swapped on a VMP TVS supercharger with a 72 millimeter pulley. Now let's pull it on the dyno. The VMP TVS supercharger made 510 rear wheel horsepower and 503 rear wheel torque. That's a gain of 180 rear wheel horsepower and 145 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. We're here road testing the VMP TVS Supercharged Raptor. In two-wheel drive, we're kind of traction limited, but a switch to four-wheel drive fixes that. Speed World with our professional driver Rebecca from Rebecca Starkey Racing to get some quarter mile times. What'd you just run? 